Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to loop a video in CupCut. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, what we need to do first is we need to open up the CapCut mobile application. And from here, we need to access our project that has the clip that we want to loop. Now, in this case, I've already created this project here. Let's go ahead and click on it and open it up. As you can see, this is a fairly short uh, uh, clip here that we want to loop. So first thing that I would actually uh, need to tell you here, I'll be showing you or a way or giving you a way here to do a basic loop. Now, if you want to have a professional looking loop for your clip, so you have to uh, basically uh, strategize on how you actually film the video itself. So depending on how you film the video itself, so if you just uh, put another copy of that specific video into your cup cut here, which in this case, I'll be showing you how to copy a video here that is already existing. You'll be able to basically make a loop. But in this case, if you don't have a perfect loop video, like uh, you don't have any uh, capabilities on uh, or resources or resources or time to uh, plan on how you actually film those videos. So I'll be showing you how to do a simple loop here. But in this case, first things first is we first have to basically make a copy of the video that we already have right now. So go ahead and press on the video or clip that we have here. And from here, you want to look for the option that says copy. So usually you just need to scroll to the right section here until you see copy, just click on it. And that should actually duplicate your clip right now. Now, typically when you have a perfect loop video here, so typically when you copy your clip here, it's going to automatically uh, give you an idea on how it's going to loop. As you can see, sometimes uh, since the clip is fairly similar, it's going to give you the illusion that the clip is looping, which in this case, it's not actually looping. It's just that the video itself is kind of similar when it actually ends and when it actually starts here. Now, also, if you want to change the length itself, just click on that video and you have those white ends. You could basically make it longer or shorter, depends on what you need to do here but yeah so in this case this is going to be a basic loop that i'll be showing you so go ahead and select the second clip or the copy of that video and you want to search for the option here for reverse so typically it's going to be in the right section here just look for it and just click on reverse here and it's going to start reversing that but once it's actually reverse it's going to give you a reverse option of the video so the first clip is going to give you the original video or the original clip itself and if you reverse it it's going to start from the very end up to up until it gets to the uh, very start of the video or the very first or very first uh, frame of that specific video now in this case if you're going to post it on uh, tiktok for example so automatically on TikTok, it's going to basically loop your videos. So it might or it's going to actually look like the video itself is looping because it's going from, from the original clip, then going to reverse. And once it actually loops, uh, you'll be able to notice that the uh, it's going to be something uh, really seamless. Now, once you reverse your clip here, as you can see, when we play our video here, it's going to end on the very uh, last clip here. It's going to reverse itself, making or giving you the option or the illusion that it's actually looping. Now, once you've done, you can go ahead and just export your video by clicking on the top right of the screen. And from there, you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.